In this problem, we have an exponential equation, and our goal is the following. It would be nice if we can write this as b to the x equals b to the y, where b is a number called the base, and it's the same on both sides. So if you do that, you just get x equals y. So in this case here, we have to think about what our b is going to be. On the left-hand side, we have all kinds of choices. Four and two seem po like possibilities. But on the right-hand side, keep in mind that eight is really two cubed. So we want to use two as our base. So let's go ahead and start by rewriting everything on the left-hand side very carefully with twos. So four can be written as two squared. So this is two squared to the x times, and then 16 is two to the four. So this is two to the four parentheses to the three x minus one, right? It's very important that you put parentheses here around the 16. And this is equal to two cubed. Let's go ahead and multiply using properties of exponents. This is two x, so two to the two x times two, then here you have to distribute because you're multiplying the four by three x minus one. So four times three x is 12 x, and then four times one is one. And here we have two cubed. Okay, now on the left-hand side we can add because we're multiplying things with like bases, so we add the exponents. This will be two, so let's see, two x plus 12 x is 14 x, and then we just have the minus four here, and this is equal to two cubed. And so now we're in that situation where the bases are the same. So we just drop the bases and we set the exponents equal. So 14 x minus four is equal to three. To solve for x, we should try to isolate this 14x. So we'll add four to both sides. So plus four, plus four. These cancel, so we have 14x equals seven. Almost there, we just have to divide by 14 now. So divide by 14, divide by 14. Seven over 14, let's see, seven goes into seven one time and goes into 14 twice. So we get a wonderful answer of x equals 1 half. I hope this video has been helpful.